not two times four, okay? It is two in four places. Hi, it's Rose. Welcome to the School of Mathematics Nigeria. If you're new here, welcome. As for the OGs, some Nigerians, thank you for coming back. So, we've been discussing the number system. And of course, from the topic on the board, you know, we're discussing the binary number system. These are numbers that have just two digits, the zeros and the ones, right? And they're mostly using computer science to store and process data. They are called bits from the word. So bits got its name from binary digits. Did you get that? All right. And this is how they are represented. They're always having a subscript of two. Wherever you see the subscript two with zeros and ones, you know, we're talking about binary numbers. All right, now I like, let's move to our favorite part, which is solving examples, right? We're going to learn how to convert binary numbers to decimal numbers. That is converting base twos to base 10. If you remember from our previous class, we said base 10 are numbers that we use every day. You can decide not to write the base under the base 10 number or just write it if you will. But let's go. All right, so I want us to take note of something. Whenever we're asked to convert a binary number to a decimal number that is base 2 to base 10, you can do it this way. From the first or you could call it the last, just put zero, one, two. This helps remind you of the power you're supposed to use. So starting here, we have one times the base, which is two, raised to the power we have there, right? Moving to the next one, you have zero times its base, raised to the power that we have, and the last digit times its base raised to its power okay so of course you should learn your multiplication you first do this which is two raised to the power of two that is two times two which is four plus zero times two raised to the power of one that's two in one place that's two plus one times so raised to the power of zero, of course, anything raised to the power of zero is one. And then you continue, one times four is four. Zero times two, of course, zero multiplied by anything is zero. And then one times one is one. So four plus zero is four, four plus one is five. So you could write 10 as its base or you could write 10 as its base in words, or you could just write it like this because we said that any number in base 10 is the number we use every day. So you could decide not to indicate the base. You would, everyone would know you're referring to base 10. Well, I hope that made sense. Let's solve something else so it could make more sense. We'll go with another example. Now, one thing I want you to note in mathematics is once you get the formula or the steps you're good to go so i want you to put it at the back of your mind that whenever we're converting from base 2 to base 10 you would always have zeros and ones right which is what you have here with its base indicated right and then what you want to start with is you start with the power from here of course it's zero one two three four that way you're able to know how or the power to use to multiply. So starting with this, one times your base raised to the power it has here, plus zero times your base raised to the power on zero. One times your base raised to this. One times your base raised to this. And then, one times your base raised to this. So just have this at the back of your mind that this is how you have to go about it if this is the method you like anyways. So moving on, you have one times two raised to the power of four means two times two times two times two in four places. I'm doing this because I know some people might not know 
what that means it's not two times four okay it is two in four places so you have two times two which is four four times two is eight eight times two is sixteen are we good okay so to raise the power of four so you don't keep using your calculator know it <laughs> This is 16 plus. Now, what I always do is I cancel out the zeros. Whenever you see zero multiplying anything, it's zero. So you could just write, okay, let's just continue anyways. So two is power of three, of course, two times, two times, two in three places. That's eight plus two is power of two is four plus one times two is power of one is two plus one times two is power of zero is one, okay? So you have 1 times 16 is 16, 0 times this is 0, 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 2 is 2, and 1 times 1 is 1. Good. So 16 plus 0 is 16, 16 plus 4 is 20, 20 plus 2 is 22, and 22 plus 1 is 23. So I'll leave my answer like this, because you already know why. Okay. All right. So... Let me give you something to do so we could know. We could both know that you're following us. <laughs> I'll give you a word to do now. Just to do, let's know what your conversions are. That's 100 base 2. Or should we say 100 to base 2, convert it to base 10. And then 1001 to base 2, convert it to base 10. Okay, let us know what your answer is in the comment section. Until next class, bye.